Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. Looking forward to checking this out. Let's get it. BTS, baby. The boys are back. It feels like it's been a long time. Here we go. 그렇죠. 아, 뭐, 여튼, 우리, 뭐, 드레스 코드가 또 있잖아요, 여기 오, 오는데. 네. 또, 예. 네. 오늘의 아니, 드레스 코드 바로, 예. 보라 앤 노라. 예! 보라 앤 노라. 오아로 같은데, 오아로. 예. 보나, 보나. 보나. You can already see a difference between Jungkook in 2018 Festa to the 2019 Festa. He's already more present, more engaged. And I don't necessarily mean with his speaking abilities. I don't mean just because he's potentially more vocal here. I just mean he just looks like he's more present, more involved with the group. So it feels like one year made a big difference for him. And I think that was my last big discovery on my last big BTS video was that Jungkook's a star. Oh, you know, I'm going to keep my eye on J-Hope this episode, him interacting individually with the guys. I, I noticed that from the last Festa, and the last V Live that I watched is that J Hope makes it a point to individually connect with each one of the different guys in the group. That's what it seems like. And just there, you know, his his conversations are very directed. His interactions are very directed, I've noticed, toward one person at a time. I bet the guys feel like J Hope really cares about them by making them feel important through the questions he asks and sort of the intimacy he shows them in a very present way. 이번에 했었던 방탄 회식과 같은 방식으로 질문 종이가 준비되어 있다고 합니다. 아, 진짜요? 그래서 그 질문 종이를 하나씩 뽑아 보면서 한번 얘기를 한번 진행을 해 보도록 할게요. 오케이, 오케이. 그럼 턱부터 시작해 보자. Notice when RM speaks, he really makes it a point for you to hear what he has to say. 개로 만든 성. 개로 만든 성. 그거 자고를 자고를 엄마가 다 부시지 않나요? 이불 된다고? 일어나면 깜짝했어요. 왜냐면 you know, V seems a little reserved in this festa. He's, he's quieter. He never feels like he needs to put it on for the camera, V. I really do think, like, if he's 100% into something, he is 100% into something. That's what I've seen so far from V. Suga as well. I feel like Yoongi, he also does that as well. They're, to me, the guys that they're the least likely to put it on for the cameras. Yeah, huge difference in in Jungkook's communication style. Huge difference in his energy from last year, from the year I watched before 2018. Just He just seems more involved with the group dynamic, seems more confident, seems more readily to express himself. A positive, comfortable, Energy surrounding him. Actually, when V speaks, he does use his gestures quite a bit, and, and he was just using some gestures there to help articulate his message. You know, when he was talking about boxes, he actually drew out the box. And I always tell people, hey, I think gesturing is a great way of further, not only in further engaging your audience, but helping your audience understand and visualize your message that much more. Man, RM, man, he does such a good job at facilitating the conversation. Once these guys start talking and they start getting into their own stories, RM knows when to back off. He just knows how to facilitate the conversation, keep people engaged. Like, he'd actually make an excellent interviewer or podcast host. RM would, right? Because he, he's just aware of 
where the energy, where the attention needs to go. 저는 생각이 왜 그거 했던 것 같아요. 저는 이제 뭐 같이 했던 게 아니고 어렸을 때 이제 공부를 하잖아요. 공부를 하다가 손가락으로 저 혼자 상상을 하는 걸 막. See J Hope looking at RM here. 뭘 상상을 했죠? 혹식을 하는 거야. 아 이거 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 이거. 아 이거 이거 이거. 아 이런 거. And then RM engaging J Hope, right? Appreciating what J Hope saying, and while he's appreciating what J Hope saying. He's looking at the other guys to sort of bring them into the fun. Listen, they're all brothers. They're all super close. I understand that. But these are little things that RM does to just help with the overall entertainment and engagement of this conversation. 고급 대기 전에. 그렇죠. 그 감성 이거 장장 넘기면 삼점. 그래 그래. 일 레벨 사냥터. 오 레벨 사냥터. 이거 다 했잖아. 맞아. 아 근데 하나만 더 할게. But now V's energy is slowly starting to pick up. He's starting to get a little more excited now, and you know that's the thing about mood. That's the thing about energy, right? It's contagious. So RM understands that. It's like, hey, if I'm feeling energetic and positive, most likely that's going to spread. And energy moves amongst crowds. That's something we can keep in mind for our own communication skills. 어렸을 때 들었던 칭찬 중에 가장 기억에 남는 칭찬은? 내가 들은 칭찬은 아이 친구 참 잘생겼네. 아 그거 말고는 들어본 게 없어요. 어렸을 때도? 아 저는 예 지민이 형 칭찬 좀 많이 받았을 것 같은데. 예아저전 뭐야. See, I think and again, to see what RM did there, I bet Jimin got a lot of compliments. RM noticed that Jimin was a little quieter. He's trying to bring something out of Jim. He's trying to involve him in the conversation now too. His leadership really on full display here. RM from facilitating the conversation, asking good questions, making sure to engage people specifically and show interest in what they're saying, but also understanding who has been a little on the quieter side, who he needs to engage. Just before I started this video, I was watching a video with my mom uh, on emotional intelligence. She never heard of that term before. She's like, I've heard of emotional awareness, but I've never heard of emotional intelligence. So, anyway, that all pertains to this. 다들 칭찬 하나씩 들었어요. 여기 여기 있는 사람들 모두 칭찬 들었을 거예요. 남준이 빼고. 아이 친구가 머리는 참 좋은데 공부를 안 해서. 아 맞아. 누가 들었던 그 칭찬? 그렇지. 저전 남준이 공부 잘했어서. 700만 모두가 들었다는 바로 그 칭찬. 이 친구는 공부 잘했어서 아마 그거 안 들었을 거야. 머리는 좋. 머리는 좋은데. 우리 아들이 머리는 좋은데 공부를 안 해. Jin is so good at poking fun at people. Before he made his his point, he said, "I bet we can all relate to this, except for Namjoon." So now you've got Namjoon's attention, especially. Right. If you specifically point someone out in a group setting, they have no choice but to listen. It's just another tool to bring people in, to hook people. So it's almost like a compliment when Jin points you out and kind of pokes fun at you because that's just a sign that he likes you. 형이 있었어요. 어린 친구들은 잘 모르겠지만 학교 앞에 그그 눌러가 있었어요. 그죠? 응. 그 눌러야 돼, 눌러야 돼. 이렇게. 이게 뭐야? 그 양쪽에 몰라요? 이렇게 열이 있어가지고. 그치. 고데기 같은 거야. 그치. 거의 이거 호떡 같은 거 넣어. 그래, 이거 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 넣을 거. 소세지도 넣어. 그러니까. 아 눌러? 눌러는 뭐야? 없어? I've noticed Yungi as well, my guy Sugar, who you know I love. What I'm noticing is he's very present, as opposed to some of the other videos that I've seen him in. When he's listening to people, I've noticed in the past. He's not always looking at them. He's not always making eye contact with them, but just there. And in the past couple scenes, when V was speaking and a couple other people were speaking, you know, he's really looking and he's really tuned in to what they're saying. We, 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 예, 두번두번딱 잃고 나면 그 다음에 뭐 하나짜리 나오고 막 그런 게 있어. 뒤에서 딱 패턴을 날 읽어야 돼. 아, 그래? 바, 바퀴가... Yeah, Sugar just seems lighter here, right? As opposed to the previous fest. It's just a lighter presence, a lighter approach. It's easy for him to get involved in the conversation. It doesn't seem like as much of a struggle for him to get involved in the conversation. Where it was like a bigger effort, it was deeper, it was heavier. But here it seems like he's just more easily able to contribute to the light banter. It doesn't have to be so serious. He can just be involved in sort of the pleasantries of the conversation, stuff that's not that important, and he still seems happy to be engaged. 
놀래키는 거 있잖아요. 아, 아, 아 이거 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 블랙 아, 블랙 아, 블랙 이렇게 딱 나오고 나온 거. 그래. 야너 하나 남았어 이거 뭐 하는 거? 내가 내가 내 진짜 거짓말이야. 저거 때문에 친구랑 싸울 뻔했거든요. <웃음> 아 이거 많은 친구들이 하나 싸울 뻔했어. 그래 너무 싫어하는데 어. 진짜 잘못 땡겼다. <웃음> It's funny hearing Jim and mention another friend. It's like these guys have other friends. You know what I mean? It's just funny thinking of them having other friends outside of BTS because it just seems like they're always with BTS, like that's their life. I wonder if these guys keep in touch with any of their childhood friends that they grew up with. I'd be curious to know. Wouldn't that be wild, like going to the same elementary school as, as one of these guys and then they become BTS? Christmas day, so I was like, Santa was coming. I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, 언제 언제 오나 언제 나서 잠든 척을 했는데 갑자기 뭔가 움직여서 뭔가 아빠가 이게 내 머리맡에 그걸 딱 놔두고 가는 거야. 본 거야 이게 눈뜩 떠는데 아빠랑 눈이 맞아. 아 동심 파괴. 아 동심 파괴. 아. You know, I noticed how much they were all really engaged with Sugar's story. They're all really listening to Sugar. I think Sugar has a special way of bringing people in. I talked about his authenticity, about how he's just so genuine. So you know when he speaks, he's keeping it real. Oh, these guys love each other. They show it in a number of ways. But, you know, they like each other. They don't just love each other because they're in the same band and you know, we're brothers, we live together for all these years. Like, it's more than that. You know what I mean? Like, they like each other too. They like listening to each other. They like being around each other. Christmas is a gift for you. Dad, do it. Dad, do it. That's right, that's right. Dad, what do you want to give me? Okay, Dad, do it. Okay, do it. Wow, that's amazing. Dad, I'm so excited. 마법사의 돌멩이 있잖아요. 맨 진 knows how to lighten the mood and bring the laughter and out of all these guys he actually kind of makes me feel part of the conversation Jin does. Like when I'm watching this and just right there enjoying that moment with these guys that's exactly what it was. I was enjoying the moment with these guys. And I think that's something special about laughter as well. What laughter can do. Laughter can make you kind of feel part of the conversation without actually being part of it. Especially if everyone else is laughing. You feel like you're you're there with them. So Jin brings that out. Yeah, see, Yoongi is really engaged in this conversation. You heard him listening. You heard him listening to Namjoon. You heard him listening. Right? He wasn't just silently listening. You heard him. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And you see Namjoon speaking to Suga directly there. Like, and then Suga asks some follow-up questions. Yoongi here is actually demonstrating some really good conversational skills, some really good just social skills here, something that I don't often see from him. I think that's part of why these guys are so close is we've talked about how vulnerable they are, how open they are about how they feel. And I think that just brings them so much closer together. But the cool thing is, like V said, it's something that can be learned. We can get better at it. It's a skill we can develop. So it's certainly a skill that I'm working on and I think it's something we can all learn from BTS because they are so good at it. I think that's probably part of their success in a big way. It's talked about this as well. It's like why fans feel so drawn to them is because they are open about how they feel. And that allows us to feel really connected to these guys. I didn't study that 
많이 느리지 않나 다른 사람들 보면. 근데 예전이랑 좀 다른 게그 공부의 개념 또 바뀌어 버린 게 네가 영상 공, 영상 만들고 그러면서 이제 그치. 무슨 영상 그치. 영상을 보는 것도 요즘은 공부지. 공부지. 정신 학교에서 책 보고 하는 것만 공부 응. 아닙니다. 맞아요. 텍스트로 공부하는 시... I, I'd love to sit down and just hang out with Sugar and talk to Sugar about anything really. I just feel like he has a really good understanding of and just a really interesting perspective of the world. He expresses himself so freely and easily as well. 아, 뭐 이건 솔직히 저는 뭐 가사나 이런 얘기를 많이 해 가지고 나도 많이 다른 친구들의 얘기가 들어보고 싶어요. 저는 그 친구가 김석진. That little gesture RM used something we can do to get things out of people. He kind of went like this as a way to hey, you express yourself. 이게 뭐 가면 쓰고 뭐 사람들은 우리한테 가식적이다라고 이야기할 수 있는데 그리고 또막 뭔가 앞과 뒤가 다르다고 이야기할 수 있는데 근데 그거는 비단 연예인뿐만 아니라 맞아요 뭐 맞아요 다 그런 맞아요 거예요. 맞아요 그거를 막 일관적으로 막아 내가 왜이 사람한테는 이렇게 대하면 저 사람한테 이렇게 대하지에 대해서 고민을 할 필요가 크게 없더라. 뭐 such a Yungi answer, such a Yungi answer, and that's an answer that I'd expect from him, especially talking about their different personas. It's just like yeah, we can, you know, be the same. We don't have to act any differently for anyone. 없더라. 뭐 어떨 때는 분리 할 때도 있고 어떨 때는 뭐 같이 가는 때도 있고 뭐 여러 가지 면이 있는 거. 아이 수고 형 말이 오늘 아, 박혀 버렸잖아. 예. Yeah. Yeah. 박히셨나요? 네 yeah, 박혔어요. 박히. <웃음> Sugar's right, man. Sugar's right, and I think that's why I feel like Sugar is such an important staple in this group. Is kind of keeps these guys real in a way, keeps them in check in a certain way. Like, right, because we can sense it. The audience can smell inauthenticity on people. It's hard to put our fingers on sometimes. It's more subconscious, but we're drawn to the authenticity. So perhaps Sugar has a really important underlying role in that, where it's like he keeps the dynamic real in a sense. And that, as a result, draws the audience in. I think it's better than the time now. Yeah, so I think it's a bit more fun. 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 So interesting to hear that Sugar was like that before because it's hard to picture him having like a different persona. So really interesting. Wow. So he's probably, if I had to guess, it sounds like he's probably changed the most out of all these guys, or at least one of the most. Jungkook은 사실 뭐 잘하는 게 이렇게 형성되기 전에부터 일을 해가지고 사실 그게 좀 많이 안타까웠어요. 되게 많이 힘들어 하기도 했었고 그런 걸로 또 고민도 많이 하, 하, 하는 것도 옆에서 보고 그걸 보면서 되게 좀 안쓰럽고 가슴이 아팠는데 어느 순간 아주 멋지게 이겨내고 그냥 이제 자기만의 자아가 만들어진 것 같아가지고 How cool is it to have a guy like Sugar in the group? Like he's such a parental figure and it just feels like you have like a father in the group like to me he feels like the most fatherly like he's the most strict the most real but in ways i think he just has a different perspective and his understanding of each of these guys and like that's important i think it's important to have guys around you or people around you who understand you and it, it seems like although yungi might not always seem to show it emotionally and really feel like the that lovey doveyness from suga he understands it. 그릇이 커진 것보다는 원래 그릇이 컸는데 우리가 물이 없었던 거지. 담을 물이 없었던 거라서 우리 이것밖에 못 담아 이렇게 생각을 했었던 것 같아. 예전에는. 근데 오늘 윤경 좀잘잘 되니까 사실 이제 구분이 되는 거지. 잘안 됐었으면. 윤경 좀 명언을 많이 남겨. 윤경 좀 약간 좀 되는데. 오늘 이게 장난 아닌데. 좀 약간 좀 날아다니는데. 오늘 오늘 이거. Yeah, notice how R M hears everything, right? He sees everything. He noticed V and Jimin's little side conversation there about Yungi being on fire. Like RM's head is always in 16 different places. He's super aware. He also does seem to really make it a point to make sure other people are happy first. I think he puts other people first before he puts himself. That's my concern with RM. Lemmo is a leader, so he has a lot of thinking. Lemmo is a lot of thinking. He's very hard for us. 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 Literally was just talking about this. 
좀 편해 보이는 게 살짝 보이, 보인다고 해야 되나? 그래, 하루 하루 가까워서 저한테 세 시간 혼난 적도 있어요. <웃음> 아침에 아주 스케줄 나가기 한네 시간 전에 형 형. <laughs> yeah, that, that seemed to hit RM, that seemed to touch him. And he seemed to sort of like get a little introspective in that moment. And really cool seeing Jungkook being able to express his insight and perspective on the other guys and showing his awareness here too. Something I haven't seen a lot from Jungkook is his ability to talk about and explain in a really you know, observant, perceptive way his thoughts about the other members. Jungkook seems like a really cool guy to be around too. Just, I can see RM really liking Jungkook. First of all, it feels good to be appreciated. And I think RM can sense that Jungkook appreciates him and that feels good. And I think as a result, RM kind of like wants to be there for Jungkook. And I think they just appreciate each other. I think their energies, their dynamic RM and Jungkook, I think they work really well together because RM you know, Jungkook being on a little bit of the quieter side, he has no problem expressing himself, it doesn't seem like. But he's a little bit on the quieter side, might not be the first to initiate things. RM's really good at bringing things out of people. RM, I feel like, obviously, he knows when to listen. I think he's got a mix of extroversion and introversion, probably leans a little more on the extroverted side, if I had to guess. But I think they're just a good mix in that way. They balance each other's dynamic and styles out well. 진영의 그런 본 어떤 진영이 하고 싶은 것들을 약간 가둬놓는 그런 느낌이었던 것 같은데 초반에는 그냥 진영이 그냥 지금 진영한테 제일 가까운 것들을 보여주고 하기 시작하면서 좀 자연스러워 보여가지고 그게 좀 중요한 것 같아요 사람이 좀 자연스러운 게뭘 해도 근데 지금 진영의 모습들이 어쨌든 속에 어떤 일들이 있는지 모르지만 최소한 나한테는 굉장히 자연스럽고 되게 편한 고 멋있는 형이어서 Sometimes I feel like when RM speaks like he might not always feel it, but he understands it. Not to say he didn't fully feel his words here, but I think he has such a good intellectual understanding of these guys' emotions and, you know, their development that it's sort of like when he talks about it, it's like almost rehearsed in his head. <laughs> You know, I think that's the first time I've actually really heard V, I think, speak about someone else in the group in that sort of way, in that sort of open way really displaying his, his understanding of them. And it looked like Jimin was just like, you know, he was a little embarrassed almost. And interesting that V said, like, you know, he's probably my best friend. First time I've heard them in a group setting, any of them talk about, you know, one or the other guy being a best friend of theirs. So obviously there's individual dynamics and in, within the larger group, which would be something else. Like I said, that would be interesting to explore. Yeah, and it's so cool that you take any one of these guys to talk about any one of the other guys and they can do it, it seems like, with ease. That to me is a sign of how close this group is. Another sign of how close this group is. I wonder what Yoongi means about softening up. Does he mean they've just been gotten more sensitive and more understanding and empathetic toward one another? They haven't been as like hard on each other? <laughs> 자, 나는 납니다. 또 봐봐. 자기를 다섯 글자로 표현하라고? 찐. 맞다, 형 맞다. 자, 찐. 찐. 
I think it's important to have a guy like Jin around as well because like as much as we do like them talking seriously and getting deep and emotional, it's nice to sort of have a comedic relief and kind of lighten up the mood. And it's nice to have Jin for that because he's always looking for openings to lighten up the mood. And he's really good at finding those openings without making it inappropriate or like, hey man, like we're talking about something real here. Why did you ruin it? Like it's always like a welcome relief. <laughs> 데뷔한 지 얼마 안 됐을 때좀 정의가 가능했거든요. 뭐 방탄소년단이 이렇다, 뭐 함께해서 이렇다 얘기할 수 있었는데 지금 정의가 안 돼요. 너무 그럼 악당인가요? 뭐 그런 느낌이죠. 네. <웃음> 아, 뭔가 필요한 타임을 생각했어요. 나 뭔가 정 정의를 할수 없는 느낌. Yeah, not only will Jin deliver the humor, but he also is quick to point out the humor and appreciate the humor. RM making a little joke there and Jin validating that joke. But just looking at his facial expressions, I think like, you know, how comfortable is Jin? He just looks a little less comfortable than the other guys speaking about the more emotional, personal, sensitive things about the group. It's like, you know, he keeps his cards a little closer to his chest, but that's the sense I get. It's like sometimes he feels a little lost or a little uncomfortable when these guys are getting deep. Another school. Another school. Oh, really? Crazy to think about these guys that like in their old age at like 100 or like 90 years old talking about their lives being like remember when we were the biggest superstars in the world 아 그거 얘기해야 되나? 뭐 아무거나 얘기해. 제가 어제 그 핸드폰 게임을 하다가 어. 이제 촬영도 이제 촬영을 할때 핸드폰 게임을 하는데 촬영할 때 게임을요? 아니요. <웃음> 쉬는 시간이죠. 진도 아니 발가락으로 한 건가? 쉬는 시간이라고 하죠. 쉬는 시간. I love how Jin will just call you out. He'll just call you out. 카메라 앞에서 막, 아, 진짜 그냥 죽을 때까지 콘서트만 하고 살고 싶다라고 얘기를 한 적이 있는데, 그것도 다 비슷한 거죠. 이제 팬들이 행복해하는 모습 보고, 그렇죠. 그걸 보고 또 힘이 나고, 서로 이게 뭔가. 교감? 어. 네. Yeah, man, I've said this before. Like, that's Jungkook in his zone. That's him in his comfort zone on stage. He's the ultimate performer. And that's, I think, where he is happiest. And there's been all these little remarks that he's said that have made me feel like this guy loves to perform. Like some people get nervous to perform. I feel like Jungkook's the type of guy, he's excited. He can't wait to get on stage. That's where he thrives. So it's very clear. And I also think that, I don't think at this point in their lives in 2019, it feels like Jimin still has some way, some room to grow into his confidence. Like I feel like his confidence isn't fully there yet. Maybe he feels more comfortable when it's just like individual communication with the guys as opposed to group communication. 오늘 촬영도 이제 진행하고 얘기 들으면서 저는 정말 이 방탄 다락에 제가 이걸 하고 있다는 것 자체가 너무 혜택을 받았고 나는 되게 감사하고 행복한 사람이라고 생각을 하면서 또 이렇게 좋은 우리 멤버들이랑 또 도와주신 스태프분들이랑 사랑한다는 말을 Okay, so notice that when RM was doing his final address there, he was looking directly at the camera, addressing the audience. Just another sign that he's hyper aware. He's very aware of making it a point to engage ARMY, engage the audience. Yeah, he's getting a little shy. Notice how Jimmy was sort of trailing off at the end. It's like he's kind of got this shyness about him. It's like he's got a boyish charm. Uh, 
<laughs> you see Suga there, like pretend to be really funny? I haven't seen that. It's like I don't see Suga act like that. That was like a first time appearance for me. <laughs> yeah, I love the way Jungkook expresses himself now and he does it with so much more ease. It seems like 2019 was sort of the year where he started really growing into himself and, you know, being able to express himself confidently. I really like enjoying, I really enjoy listening to him speak. V, you know, like you could kind of sense that he, he's over it. He's like, all right, like I'm done talking, I'm done talking. Jungkook can't resist RM, can he? When RM asks them to do something, it's like Jungkook can't say no to RM. <laughs> 마지막에 사랑해 하면서 끝냅시다. 자, 자 혼배사. 외치면 하고 제가 사랑해 하겠습니다. 외쳐 주시고 제가 사랑해 하겠습니다. <웃음> <웃음> 사랑해. 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 <웃음> awesome, awesome. What a video. As always, if you want to watch my uncut reaction and analysis, you can. I've included the link below on my Patreon page. Other than that, I appreciate you tuning in. My name is Max. I will catch you soon. Peace.